Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to derive the scattering matrix parameters of E-plane D-junction. The same method I have used for the H-plane D-junction, I will use here also for the calculation of E-plane as matrix parameters. So, first one is, first we need to take the E-plane junction diagram. See, this is the E-plane junction. This is the E-plane T-junction where the third port third port is in the electric field is in the direction of electric field that's why it is e arm this is e arm okay e arm or we can call it as third port and it is the first port this is the second port okay first port second port are always out of phase you should remember this point before the calculation of s matrix parameters first port and second port are always out of phase okay input is given at the first phase when output is coming from the second phase it is out of phase and again when input is applied at the second port output is coming from the first port in out of phase now first we need to observe how many ports that it has three ports so what is the size of s matrix three ports so what is the size of s matrix s matrix size is size is 3 by 3 okay so s 3 by 3 is equal to s 1 1 s 1 2 s 1 3 s 2 1 s 2 2 s 2 3 s 3 1 s 3 2 s 3 3 this is the scattering matrix size for the e plane disjunction 3 by 3 size See, depending upon the number of ports, this S matrix is going to be written. Now, first, apply the properties of the S matrix on this parameter. So, so that the parameters will be reduced. Okay, the number of, uh, how many ports are there, how many parameters are there? Totally nine parameters are there now. Now, after application of the scattering matrix properties, we can reduce the number of parameters down. Okay, so that it is very easy for us. Now, due to the due to the plane of unsymmetry in H plane, it is symmetry due to the plane of symmetry. Due to the plane of unsymmetricity, S13 is equal to minus S23. See here, S13 is equal to minus S23. S13 is nothing but power applied at the first port and the reflection. That means what is the power output from the third port. And again, power applied at the second port, output is observed at the third port. These two are out of phase with each other because first and second ports are out of phase ports. Okay, so that's why S13 is equal to S23. But in the previous case here for the H, H plane D junction, it is plus. As this, as here in the H plane D, E plane D junction, these two are out of phase. That's why it is S13 is equal to minus S23. <coughs> Next, apply the second property, uh, third property, nothing but as port 3 is perfectly matched, as port 3 is perfectly matched, S33 is equal to 0. This, po this point is common. Next one, from symmetry property, From symmetry property, Sij is equal to Sji. That means S12 is equal to S21, S13 is equal to S31, and S23 is equal to S32. Okay. Now, with all these assumptions, now S matrix becomes. S is equal to S11, 
S12, S13, S12, S22, minus S13, S13, minus S13, it is 0. This is the S matrix of the E plane T junction after simplification. Now, apply unitary property apply unitary property what do you mean by unitary property s into s star is equal to i identity matrix identity matrix size is here 3 by 3 because s is also 3 by 3 so s11 s12 s13 s12 s22 minus s13 s13 minus s13 0 into s star s star is nothing but s11 star s12 star s13 star s12 star s22 star and minus s13 s13 minus s13 stars 0 is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 identity matrix of 3 by 3 size ok now multiply row 1 into column 1 row 1 column 1 so what is the equation s11 mod square plus s12 mod square plus s13 mod square is equal to 1 this is first equation and similarly row 2 column 2 s12 mod square this one s12 s12 s22 s22 so mod s22 square plus mod s13 square is equal to 1 <coughs> r3c3 0 plus s13 square plus s13 square is equal to 1 this is third one r uh, r3 c1 s13 s11 star minus s13 s12 star is equal to 1 this is the fourth equation so from equations 1 and 2 after simplification from equations 1 and 2 we can write it as s11 is equal to s22 okay and from equation 3 s13 will come s13 square plus s13 square equal to 1 so it is s13 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 and from equation 4 s13 s11 star minus s12 star is equal to 0 that, that just we have taken s13 as common and as s13 is not equal to 0 s11 is equal to s12 ok <coughs> that is also equal to s22 from equation from this equation <coughs> s11 is equal to s22 now using all these and substitute in substitute above values in equation 1 so s11 mod square plus s11 mod square plus 1 by 2 is equal to 0 so s11 is equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 1 s1 equal to 
1 by 2. So, therefore, S matrix is, therefore, S matrix for E plane T junction is, is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, minus 1 by root 2, 0. This is the scattering matrix of E plane T junction. Okay. So, in the next video, I will explain how the scattering matrix of this E plane D junction works with respect to the applied inputs and as well as outputs. Okay, what happens when input is applied at port 1 and port 2? What is the output from the port 3? And similarly, when input is applied at port 3, what are the outcomes of port 1 and port 2? That we can see in the case study in the next video. Thank you.